Hi guys. So if you're like me, it's kind of hard to find um, desk storage that's affordable and cute. And I really love, um, I really love the style of cigar boxes, just like wine labels and just art everywhere. I love the lettering and um, the texture and everything and just that it's unconventional. It just adds a little something to my um, office in my desk space. Um, I really like uh, the look of vintagey, um, shabby chic, but not too shabby with metal and wood accents. So um, I we just had a community uh, garage sale and I went cruising around and um, the only thing that got me out of the car was seeing these cigar boxes and I figured they would be great for art supplies. So I um, scored pretty well with these. Uh, I bought six of them. Um, I'm only going to show three. Uh, I don't know how to use the other three just yet because they're a little tall. I thought that they would be able to fit my inks, but um, they're too tall. Uh, the ink is too tall for the cigar box. So in this one, this one's really, really cute. It is, uh, let's see, it's almost seven inches by four and a half inches and it is mm, like two inches tall so I'm not that big into Copics but this fits my Copics perfectly so the Copics that I do have um, I like the chow ones the really pastel kind and this is really great um, too when I was at a comic-con um, they showed us about tones at one of the little talks and uh, this warm gray is great for that too so this is perfect I don't have a ton like I said I know a lot of people who are super into Copics like this wouldn't really work for them but this works great for me because it's only barely two rows of uh, Copics so that fit perfect right um, so there's that and this one is really cute as well um, it is It's a little bit past seven inches wide. Well, actually long, but the way that I um, use it, it's kind of wide and almost six inches across. So really cute. I love how it's like weathered there uh, with the paint. And this is a cigar box with dividers. I had never seen one with dividers before. So when I opened this up, I was like, oh, this will be perfect for um, sorting my pins, you know, my microns and uh, my uniposcas. Um, these are, this is going to be great for that. So it fits perfect and highlighters, which I don't use a whole bunch, uh, but it's a great place for it. I love these VTech, um, I mean, these V5 precise pilot pins. These are great. They pretty much write for you. Love them. Not a big fan of ballpoint pins. So this works out great. And um, so that one, that's that guy. And here's the, here's what it looks like inside, which is really cute. So $1 each for this little bit of storage, which is wonderful. And then there's this guy. I've never seen one this thin and um, it's just beautiful. I love gold. There were two silver ones, but I'm glad I didn't buy them because I, I like um, gold more. So this one opens up and it holds all of my polychromos um, color pencils. So I have other color pencils on my desk but I just decided to at least just take one version and put them in here and uh, some regular pen, I mean pencils. And then I have some Palomino black wings, uh, comes in three different types of uh, the pearl. I bought this as a set. So I think I got like two of each kind that they do. So here's that gray one. I need to play with that some more but I've been focusing just on watercolor and I do sometimes uh, put color pencil on top of my um, watercolors. So this is great. And these are replacement um, erasers for the Palominos. 
So this worked out great too. And here's what it looks like inside. And they smell so good too. I'm a dork like that. I love the smell of books and I love the smell of uh, wood, wooden trunks, things like that. It's just like, ah, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> so um, hope that helps you out. Uh, if you're looking for some kind of desk storage, I just love the look of it. Uh, super inexpensive, something that you might not have thought of. And um, here is one of my pieces um, of watercolors. And I painted this on a aqua board, which was new to me. So um, thanks so much for watching. And I hope you liked this video. If you like this, um, would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and please subscribe so you don't uh, miss any future videos. It's completely free and I'd love to keep in touch with you. All right, talk to you later. Bye.